Hello everyone and welcome to Orlando Speed World in Orlando, Florida for the third annual BLP Racing Products of Drag Strip Riot. The event will feature a show and shine car show, an auto parts swap meet, and some old time nostalgia heads up drag racing on the Orlando Speed World quarter mile drag strip. You are watching a promotional clip from our full length one hour and 15 minute video entitled Drag Strip Riot 3. Come along now as I take a walk through the pit area and check out some of the race vehicles. What do we have there, a 340? No, it's a 452. Oh, wow. 452? Yeah, a 400 stroker motor. It's a Ray oh, okay. Barton stroker. I'll tell you, they had a great assortment of cars and trucks in the show and shine area. And once again, entries were restricted to vehicles from the 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. Let's well, check them out. Another really cool feature of Drag Strip Riot is the mini bike competition. And on hand was the Florida Mini Bike Drag Racing League. And we're going to see these guys out on the track just a little bit later. Well, one of, if not the biggest name in the history of drag racing is Florida's own Big Daddy, Don Garlitz. And Don was a special guest at Drag Strip Riot number three. Now Don had one of his historic dragsters on display and he also took time to personally autograph a variety of merchandise that he was offering for sale. The event also hosted 
and auto parts swap meet, and from what I heard, there were some really good deals available. Before the start of the Heads Up Racing program began, race coordinator Bill Hartzell summoned all drivers to an area alongside the grandstands where he would explain the rules and procedures for the race. Bill was joined by a group of young ladies who were available as backup girls. Now the girls were dressed in nostalgic outfits and added a touch of beauty to the beastly field of drag racing vehicles. Randy Ross is a member of the Southern Swing Shots group and he is heading up to the track where the action is about to begin. Keep in mind, you're watching a short promotional clip from our full-length one-hour and 50-minute video production. Now, the full-length video includes lots of drag racing action out on the track. 
And if you'd like to have a copy of your own, go to our website at beyondvideo.com. In our full-length video, you will see a series of interviews that we did with event sponsors and participants. You know, everyone has a story, and we have included some that we think you will find interesting. Champion Coop, uh, founded in Minnesota. Two-door. is called a roundup. The original one, nobody knows what happened to it. I think Chrysler got it back and crushed it, possibly. Is that the one that Ray brought? A car up yeah. in Rhode Island by a shop. Uh -huh. And uh, was used as a... Uh... Well, I hope you enjoyed our coverage of Drag Strip Riot number three. It was really a fun event with lots of opportunities for people to enjoy themselves in a very laid-back atmosphere. 
Now, perhaps next year, you can join the fun at Drag Strip Riot number four. Now it's time to thank the sponsors that helped to make this event possible.